Some good stuff going on here. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Okay. The key to making a really good steak, thermo pen, of course. All right. Steak, of course. And a timer. Okay. All right. First thing you do, okay. All right, my grill is at uh, right around 550, all right, it's, it's definitely warm, mm -hmm. all right, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, because I don't want it to be too hot, okay, all right, all right, check it out, I cleaned the grates the other day on this baby, yeah, and it's looking good, yeah, we got some really fine steaks here tonight, man. Check these babies out. Okay, rule number one about steaks, okay? Let them sit for an hour be out before you cook them. Don't, don't take them out of the refrigerator. Don't take them out of the freezer. Don't make sure they're room temp for an hour before you even bother. Okay, let's see here. Make sure we're good to go again here. All right. Alright, so we're starting out at 550. Now these steaks are pretty thick, so what I do is I cook them about four and a half minutes to five minutes per side, okay? Which means I flip them four times, All right? If they were thinner steaks, I would just... i just flip them twice. But because they're so thick and they get a nice even heat, I'll flip them like a cube over and over again. Okay, a little timer, fire this baby up. Okay, so I've cooked these steaks a lot before this particular size and everything else. So I usually go about five minutes to tw five minutes per side on the first two sides, and then maybe four on the thinner side. Okay, get that. Get my little timer. Okay. I think I already hit this with the spray. Yep, sure did. Okay, so we're good there. Okay, so take the spray inside, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back outside again. All right, so I got the first five minutes going on the grill here. Okay, I'm flipping right around five minutes. Okay, all right, now here's one thing that's interesting about steaks that I didn't know for years and years and years, and I've been cooking really good steaks for a really long time, okay? Is like, okay, I like my steak medium rare, around 130 internal temp right around there. But when I cook burgers, I always cook them like mm, 150, 155, right around there, and they'll, they'll cook another, you know, a couple of degrees internally. And is why do I need to cook the burgers longer than the steak when they're both the same thing, essentially? Well, it turns out that the bacteria, right, on the outside of the steak is not inside the steak. When you grind any kind of meat, okay, you've taken the bacteria the, on the outside of the, ba the, uh, the, ba the base or the meat, and you've ground it internally into the meat itself. So now you have to go further with the heat to get it to cook it. So, you know, something I didn't know for years and years and pretty interesting. So here we go. We got another two minutes, two and a half minutes until flip. Okay, let's check out the steaks right here. See how they're looking. Oh yeah, starting to look really good already. Yep. Yep. Nice. All right. Okay. Okay, so let me check my temp on the grill again. Uh, yeah, it's running around, right around five, 500, 550, right around there. I'd like to keep it right around that. Okay. 
check my timer again okay I got another minute till I flip okay and the thing about a steak too is you're gonna ruin a steak in about two minutes two and a half minutes if you leave it on too long it gets too dry and it sucks so you got to keep an eye on your time and your temp especially the last three or four minutes of the steak mm. and a beautiful fall day here in South Carolina mm. no question about it mm. All right, so we're at the first first flip time. Okay, so go ahead and flip them. All right, let's give you give you a look at how they're doing here now. Ooh, those are looking good. Mm, mm, I love a good steak. Mm. I think uh, from the size of the steak and everything else, I'll go another five on this side and go three and three when I do the size. Because they're, they're not quite a, per you know, usually when I get a good, really good cut 10 ounce it will be even on all sides so it's really easy to figure out how long to cook it but and like I say there's nothing worse than a overcooked dried out crappy steak so and I gotta tell you man this wireless microphone on this setup works cool it really does I went to a concert at Sigurd Park a couple of weeks ago and I wish I took the wireless mic with me because I would have had wicked good audio and I wish I just pushed, put the uh, camera on just the, the little tiny tripod and left it alone because I would have had some damn good video, but I didn't do that either. So, oh, well, you live and learn, you know. And once you take the steak off, okay, you let it rest for five minutes. And people will say, well, why would you do that? Because the, what it does is it cooks the steak internally, okay. The heat from inside the steak cooks itself. And it helps with, you know, retain the juices inside the steak too. So don't, don't, once you take them off the grill, don't be in a big rush to cut them over, open. Take your timer, put it on five minutes and wait the five minutes and you, you won't be disappointed. Okay, and another thing too about a grill too is I always like to have a backup tank full of gas ready to go. Because there's nothing that pisses me off worse than I'm two, three quarters away of cooking a really good steak and the damn grill runs out of gas. So I have a second tank always ready. So if it does happen, it takes me like a minute to swap out the tank. I'm good to go. I fire it back up and my steaks aren't ruined. So, And I love steak. If I was president of the United States, man, all right, and uh, Costco has it. It's Japanese Wayu beef, okay? And it's like 600 bucks a pound or, or some ridiculous price, okay? If I was in the White House, I would have that for dinner every friggin' day. Yeah. I'd, I'd run for president just so I could do that every friggin' day. Okay, mm -hmm. we're nearing the time to go with the short side flip. Okay. Okay, yep, that looks good. All right. Okay. Okay. And I get the steaks if they're a little bit, little bit thin on the sides, lean on, lean against each other, okay, and gently put down the lid and I'll let them go three minutes and then three minutes, and I think we're good to go. Once you cook enough steaks, you'll know, you know, how long to leave them on and everything else, you know, with the timer and you know, do some fine adjustments here and there, but. Mm -hmm. you, you time them and you keep an eye on the temp, you'll have a great steak every time. You don't do those things, you're throwing your friggin' money away and your steak's gonna suck. 
Yeah, there goes some first responder, man. Jeez, that's tough work, man. Yeah. Being a cook's tough work, too, man. I wouldn't want to stand on my feet 10 hours a day cooking stuff. No friggin' way. Yeah. Yep, all these small restaurants around the country, these people are owning these places, they're working their ass off and making some money. Yeah. Okay, we got about another minute to go here. And I'll do the final flip. Okay, grab my thermal pen real quick. Just double check them real quick before the last flip. Take them off real quick. Quick check. No, they still still need a little longer. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Take that one and put it right here. Yeah, let me do that about another minute or two. I think that should pretty much do it. Okay. All right, back to the timer here. Keep an eye on this thing for just another minute or so. Now, I like my steak a little bit rarer than Sandra, so I'll check both of them. If one's a little, little rarer, I'll take that one. I think one more minute should do it. Oh yeah, and I like to salt my steaks too before I, before I put them on. So. Before they go on the grill and they're out for about an hour, they get salted with some kosher salt because kosher salt's thick, heavy grains. They're not like regular table salt, so you're not going to ruin the steak, you know, by salting them. At one time, I saw somebody cook some stuff on a grill and they used table salt, and I thought, oh, my God, and it tasted as horrible as it looked. <laughs> All right, time to check. I think these are babies are done. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We good internal temp right around 130. I like 130, 132 maybe right around there. Okay. Shut this baby off. All right. Got five minutes for these to rest. All right. Got to check these babies out. I can't seem to get the, the camera to tilt right. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Time to head in with these. Okay. All right. And there's the stakes, okay. Okay. And the stakeys right there, they look pretty, pretty damn sweet. Got five minutes to rest and then it's time to chow. Well, Hey, thanks for watching the video, and I hope you uh, enjoy your steaks as much as I enjoy mine. Later.